played and the games get saved so they can be played on another day. Rob's Arcade. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Rob's Arcade. I am your host, Rob French, and it is Wednesday. So it is time for the midweek breakdown now. For those of you who aren't familiar with the midweek breakdown on um, Mondays, I kind of like to get with you guys, see how your weekend was, uh, kind of give you something cool to start the week off with. And then on Wednesday, I like to kind of check back in with you and see how your week's been going so far. Mine, you know, it's been pretty low key, nothing crazy's happened. So, you know, can't complain too much. Got a little Halloween decor up yesterday, put some, some spider webs up and, uh, Monday, you know, we just kind of did um, some more some more family stuff. Uh, like I said, my wife's dad's been in town, so we kind of hang out with them a lot. Spend a lot of time over at Marlene, just kind of you know having dinners and, and stuff like that. Uh, today, like I said, it's Wednesday, um, as well as being the midweek breakdown and just kind of checking in with you guys, uh, kind of getting you through Hump Day. I also like to run out and grab comic books, being that it's new comic book day head over to the comic book club one of my new favorite little spots here in Brandon Florida and um, it's also uh, the season uh, finale of uh, what if Marvel's animated streaming series it comes to an end today not going to give you any spoilers but for those of you who have uh, who, who, for those of you who have been keeping up uh, I think you saw in last week's episode a lot of the uh, what seemed like individual episodes are starting to kind of like, you know, come together, uh, which is kind of neat. I do appreciate that. But uh, I think one of my favorite things about reading What If growing up was that, you know, not all of the issues, but a lot of the issues were just like one shot pieces. And it looked like that's what they were doing with the series originally. I don't know, as I was saying, that's what it looked like they were doing with the series originally, but for some reason my phone seems to think I'm talking to her whenever I say series. And I don't know why, because there's only one of my phone and not multiple of oh, it's such a stupid guy I need to get something other than my phone to be recording this on. But it looked like I said all of the uh, individual episodes were just that originally, and now it all kind of seems like it's tying back into uh, like one big season finale so if you were you know fans of certain pieces of other episodes and what if and you were kind of hoping some of these other characters were going to come back the season finale might be your episode that you've been been looking for uh now it is the season finale not the series finale so i'm hoping that we're going to get more from marvel's what if in the future really fun series really cool and also um out today speaking of marvel um I don't know if it came out today, but I've, I've, I've noticed that it's out now, is uh, Black Widow on uh, Disney+. Plus. I think it came out at some point this week. I don't know if it was yesterday, maybe Monday or Tuesday, perhaps. You guys can let me know. I'm not exactly sure myself, uh, which I'll probably finally give that a go. Uh, wasn't one of the movies that I was really interested in seeing, which is kind of odd because there really hasn't been a Marvel movie put out in the last few decades that I haven't been wanting to run out and go see the theater but this was just one that like even aside from all the pandemic stuff and what have you um and the same with kind of like shang chi another one that's not really got me like oh man i gotta go run out and see that like you know even like ant-man and some of the other films dr strange i really felt the need to get out and see those and i'm just not feeling that pull with some of these characters i don't know if this is because i've really read a lot of those comics growing up uh but of course, I always have like kind of a sore spot for the Black Widow character anyway, just not having a Russian accent, something I guess um, I will never quite get over. And even once I was able to justify her not having an accent by maybe being like in uh, some kind of cover where the accent was part of a cover and she really didn't have an accent to begin with, like a double, 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 triple agent kind of a thing. Uh, and that kind of like, I was happy with that. I could kind of move on in the movies with her not having an accent, just thinking like, well, maybe the accent was part of a cover of hers. I can get past that. And this is the Marvel universe and it's a little bit different than the comic books and you know, trying to, uh, to, to justify it somehow. And then they, they throw this movie out there, Black Widow, and it seems like everybody in the movie has a Russian accent but her. And then that just kind of like drove that, that knife into my heart just a little bit 
a little bit deeper. Uh, so I don't know, I'm gonna give it a whirl. I'm gonna give it a shot. We'll see what it's about. Typically in October, I just like to watch horror movies. Uh, so maybe hopefully this will scare the hell out of me. Um, and aside from that, like I said, not really a whole lot going on. Kind of interested to see what's going on with you guys, what's been happening with you this week. You know, hit that comment section down below. I'm gonna go run some, uh, run and grab some comics real quick. I'll come back and show you what I picked up. And don't forget to check out the comment sections in my videos. I've been giving away free uh, comic books. All you have to do is hit to marvel.com slash redeem, enter the code, and you can read free Marvel comics on your tablet, your smartphone, your computer, and all those cool devices. So anyway, I'll be back in a minute, guys. You don't go anywhere. Hang tight, and I'll see you in a few. All right, guys, and welcome back to Rob's Arcade fresh from the comic book shop. Kind of a light day today. Uh, maybe it was because last week was so heavy. Don't really know. Um, I recommend checking out uh, the Comic Book Club on YouTube. They have a really cool series as well. And it looks like they got a lot of stuff in today as far as like graphic novels, um, like compilation books and things of that nature. Um, a nice stack of comics, but I don't know. I didn't really grab uh, a whole lot or maybe I should say a whole lot didn't grab me this week going in but I did get some really good titles so I guess uh this week's midweek breakdown um where I show you what I picked up from the combo club is more about quality not quantity but I check I, I recommend checking out the combo club uh, on their YouTube show kind of fun you can start your morning out with them seeing everything that hits the comic book shelves and then come back and hang out with me later on and see what I picked up that could be kind of a fun thing for you to start doing on Wednesday. So head over to, um, just search to the Comic Book Club Incorporated, and I'm sure uh, their little their little YouTube series will, will pop up. Let's go ahead and dive into my little stack here. It is a small stack. I've still got a couple of comics left uh, from last week that I haven't read yet. All in all, I read about 15 comic books last week, which isn't a very bad number. Pretty much went through everything I got from the comic book shop last week. Right now I'm in the middle of the Transformers Horror one-shot. Really, really cool book. And I still have the Spider-Man 74 to read. Um, but a nice little stack here. So uh, let's see if I can't get my numbers of reading comic books up next week because reading makes you powerful. So best, <clears throat> best superpower one can have is the power of knowledge. You can only attain that by flexing that super muscle, your brain, and what better way to flex that muscle by reading comic books where you not only get beautiful, beautiful words and stories, but amazing artwork as well. It's such a great way to stimulate your mind in comic books. It's not just a medium for telling stories, it's a beautiful, beautiful medium. Uh, out this week, New Mutants 22. I really like this cover a lot. I've been trying to stay away from buying a lot of variant covers and just trying to grab that one cover that speaks to me. And I really like this one a lot. Here we have the foe, and it looks like a nice little epic battle taking place along his eyeglasses there. Um, really, really cool. And uh, this kind of looks like a, like apes maybe, some like orangutans flying in on the New Mutants. So really cool, really cool cover. I'm liking this book out of all of the like X titles, X-Men, X-Force. I do like X-Force a lot though, don't get me wrong. I feel like New Mutants and Wolverine have been like two of two of my favorites. Um, trying to stay away from the variants, but I had to kind of uh, dive in a little bit this week. I just really loved this cover. Kind of reminded me of the uh, the cinematic title sequence. We've actually got some some lettering down in here with the Amazing Spider-Man done in the webbing, and then just really cool, really cool, like almost glowing translucent spider strands. And uh, had a breakdown and, and grabbed this cover too. Same book, Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man 75. This is from the like Marvel Masterpiece Collection, which was a, uh, a card, a trading card series Marvel put out and they were beautiful. <clears throat> I still have my set and they were like little paintings on trading cards. They were absolutely gorgeous. I remember all of them even now thinking about them. I don't have to look at them, um, but I still have them in a in like a little binder, binder somewhere. And this was the Hobgoblin trading card 
image and I was like oh my gosh you know like I'm sorry I love that cover it really spoke to me but this one really took me back to my childhood my dad bought me the entire um, Marvel Masterpiece card collection for Christmas one year and it was a stocking stuffer it wasn't even like a really big gift he just kind of put that in my stocking one year so had to grab that um, jumping into DC we've got um, Batman 114 which I feel like 113 just came out um, and this is all part of the the fear state like these covers a lot and I've been really enjoying um, the, the B stories that the Batman books have been including in the back I've always felt like to me that's a true comic book you know you got to have I think more than just one story in a comic book for it to be a true true comic book in, in my opinion um, you know you can do a comic book every month and just do one single story that's fine, but I grew up reading comics where you had two or three stories within each book. So <clears throat> always love the extra, the extra stories. And then uh, since we're going into, uh, you know, we're in October now, we're going into Halloween season. Um, uh, Got to pick up some some creepy books here, and, and typically I try to stay away from new series, but this is one that I think I'm going to like a lot. It really spoke to me because uh, I grew up getting into comics through horror comics like that's where I found the, the medium myself is through horror comic books so DC did a really good job with this cover it's DC presents the soul plumber and now that kind of like grabbed me right away my dad uh, was a plumber uh, when I was growing up as a kid and so definitely speaks to me on that level as well as it being a horror comic and then you got some really cool um, like little play here some little jokes you got Edgar which I can only imagine is kind of like a little nod to uh, or poke to Edgar Allan Poe and then on the other side we've got this cool little uh this little patch here in this convenience store that says gas but on the on the patch it says something and go and it looks like it says come and go but it looks like it might be spelled just a little bit inappropriately come and go which has a couple of different meanings it might be the name of the store might be a little a little mechanic humor there for you something a little a little gritty a little jokey there and uh, because on the, on the top, the hat has a different, it's got like a little Q, Q, U uh, wording going on. So that might actually be the name of the convenience store. Let me like a quick stop, if you will, something like that, the quickie, uh, which is again, another little innuendo, really funny. Cool cover, love the art. And uh, again, also love the art in uh, this little creepy tale here, Star Wars, Vader's Castle. Ghosts of Vader's Castle, Star Wars Avengers, Ghosts of Vader's Castle. Now, the artwork in both this book, and I'll just pull out a really quick page here, just kind of show you what I'm talking about. But both of these books, and I'll grab a page from the DC Horror as well, very much remind me of not only just like the, the gritty art that was available in the, um, in the comics that I read growing up, those gritty kind of like... Uh, horror comics but also they have a very correct me if i'm wrong like a mad magazine cracked crack magazine kind of feel to them uh and that's i don't know i just i really i really enjoy that that was like some of the first humor and uh, or excuse, excuse me artwork um available in the like uh, tales from the crypt of the ec comics that later was like more suited to the humor books like mad magazine and tales from the crypt uh, but yeah, I'm just really, I really like it. I, like, you know, all of this right here, just kind of like, it, it looks like colored pages from Mad Magazine to me. So just really, really, really cool. Like it a lot. And then, uh, you know, what's what's not to enjoy? You've got kind of like these uh, Twilighty uh, Tales from the Crypt Star Wars stories to, to flip through. So these have been a lot of fun. Last week I read uh, the um, issue two, which was the attack of the 50-foot... Wookie, really stupid, goofy horror story, but I liked it. Liked it a lot. A lot of fun. Uh, well, <clears throat> there we go, guys. That's um, my collection of comics this week. Like I said, it's not a very heavy stack, but I'm really happy with what I got. Like these are really cool books. Um, you know, continuing my my Spider-Man collection that's been ongoing since I was little, as well as my Batman collection and then uh like i said we got some cool halloween stories that i love to, you know that's just icing on the cake right there you got some cool comic books 
then you get into October and you get like these really cool like Halloweeny, you know, spooky comics. So that's just icing. That's just icing for me. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think of these. If there's um, some comics out there you want to see me pick up, like if there's a character you'd love for me to grab because that's one of your favorite characters. If you'd love to see a, a comic book cover and see what that's all about, you know, let me know. Uh, down in the comment section, always open to, to new fresh ideas. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know if you liked it, if you didn't. And don't forget, not only do I review comics, but I give you guys a chance to get free comic books. All you have to do is just check out my videos. I would suggest, you know, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. I would suggest it. It would just help. You know when a new video gets posted, you kind of stay up, you know, up to date with me. And if you check in the comment sections of my videos, you will find free codes to comic books that you can read on your tablet, your phone, your computer, anywhere on the go, at home. And that'll give us something we can talk about. You know, I'll leave you a free code, you redeem it, you get a free comic book, you read it, me and you can talk about it, let me know what you think. And these are all the comic books that I myself have read. I'm not gonna give you guys a code to something I haven't read and something I wouldn't enjoy. So, you know, we can talk about it, kind of like a little little mini mini book club, if you will. So if you like, if you like comic books, if you like free stuff, Definitely recommend checking out the comment sections for the free codes. And uh, thanks for just hanging out, guys. Really appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber, like I said, please subscribe. If you are, hit the share button. Let's get some more people in here. And until next time, guys, you know, this is not goodbye. It's simply to be continued. You know, Rob's Arcade will be back. And until next time, don't spend your quarter anywhere else. Thank you so much for hanging out. Love you lots. Take care.